Greetings everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Onalinna Marumo and thank you for joining me today. So in today's video, I want to share an example of a rate build up for plaster on internal walls, which I believe might interest you. Now, I know in the last video I uploaded, I indicated that I would create a material list for both the half brick and one brick walls. I have included that in today's video and the material list will also cover the materials for the plaster, which we are discussing today. Now, as you can see, today we are on bill four of our bill of quantities and the item we are pricing today falls under the trade plastering. Okay. So let's just go down to the item that we are pricing and that is internal plaster, one coat, one is to five cement plaster on walls. Okay, we have been given the unit in which the plaster is measured and that is in square meters and the quantity is 1200 square meters. So what we want to do in today's exercise is build up a rate for one square meter of one coat cement plaster on internal walls. And then after determining the rate, we are going to insert it, the rate column, and multiply it with the quantity to get the total cost for this item of work. All right. Now, it's very important to note that the quantities discussed in this example are independent of those in the previous video and they are solely for illustrative purposes. Okay, now let us go to the plaster tab. All right. Now, similar to how we approached the rate built up for brickwork in the previous video, we'll go through the inputs together. All right, now starting with the labor, we have one plasterer who is being assisted by two laborers, right? And this team can cover 16 square meters of wall with plaster in one day. Now, moving on to the materials. The materials required for plaster include cement and plaster sand or river sand, right? And the material costs are based on calculations for brickwork mortar, but with the plaster sand taken at a different cost, as you can see, it's at 321 rands. Now moving on to plant, no plant machinery will be used for this task. And then when we go to the sundries, we are told that the thickness of our plaster is 20 millimeters, so it's 20 millimeters thick. Now if you move to the right, I have this table where I've worked out the cement and sand needed to yield one cubic meter of plaster, right? Um, just as we did with the brickwork exercise the mix ratio that we will use as per the description in our bill of quantities is one is to five so i just want us to pull this information here so 6.72 and then 1.11 cubic meters for our sand now, having gone over the information given, the next step is to determine the quantities of cement and sand required for one square meter of plaster with a thickness of 20 millimeters. Now, to get the quantities for our cement in one square meter, right, we would take the 6.72 bags of cement, multiply that by 1 times 1 times 0 0.02 that is one square meter 20 millimeters thick so that is the volume of plaster that is required in one square meter of a wall right we multiply that by the 6.72 to determine the bags of cement required in one square meter and there we have 0 0.134 we're going to do the same thing with the plaster sand i'm going to say 1.11 multiplied by one by one by 0 0.2 Zero 02 and that gives us 0 0.022 cubic meters okay now that that is done let us move to the rate buildup starting with the labor we know that our plaster i can plaster 16 square meters of wall in a day right we now need to determine how many hours it takes him to plaster one square meter of wall right now to do that we are going to use the labor constant that is one plaster times eight hours right divided by 16 so it's total time over total output which gives us 0 0.50 hours per square meter so we'll go eight 
divided by 16 and it gives us 0 0.50 hours per square meter and then the total and then the total is 21 rand 71 cents now moving on to the general laborers because our laborers are just assisting the plasterer we are going to multiply the plasterer's hours by two because we have the two general laborers and we have 27 rand 97 cents for our labor and then the total cost of our labor is 49 rands 68 cents now moving on to the materials Right. We have already worked out the quantities for our materials. So all that we need to do is just pull the information from the inputs to the respective fields. So starting with cement, we are going to say that 0 0.134. And then the, to get the total cost, we'll say 0 0.134 multiplied by 104 rands, 35 cents. And then multiplied by 1.2 to account for the waste. All right. Same thing with our plaster sand. We go to our inputs. We pull the factor or the quantity of sand required. And then to get the total cost, we go 0 0.022 multiplied by 321 multiplied by 1.2. And that gives us 8 rands 54 cents. And then the total cost for our materials is 25 rands 36 cents, right? Now, this total over here is made up of our labor and the materials. So it's 49.68 plus 25 rands 36 cents. And that gives us 75 rands and 4 cents. And then to that, we add 10% of our 10% for the profit. And then we get a total of 82 rands 54 cents. So we are saying one square meter of plaster costs 82 rands and 54 cents. Okay. Now, if you're happy with that rate, we go back to our BOQ, right? And then we insert that rate of 82 rands 54 cents. All right, and that gives us a total amount of 99,000 rands, okay? And that is our cost for that item of work. Now, moving on to the material list. This is our material list. So the first trade there is masonry. The description for the this item of work that we priced is brickwork and stock bricks in one is to five cement mortar. All right. Now, starting with the half brick wall, let's go to the tab. We said one square meter of a half brick wall has 55 bricks, including 5% waste. All right. So it gives us 55 bricks. And then to get the total number of bricks for this project, we would then multiply the quantity that has been given, which is 405, multiply it by 55 bricks, and then it gives us a total of 22,000 bricks for this project. Moving on to the mortar component, we said in one square meter, of a half brick wall, we have 0 0.0176 cubic meters of mortar, right? And we also said we have a waste factor of 30%, which is not included in the 0 0.018 cubic meters. So we multiply the 0 0.0176 by 1.3 to add the 30% waste, right? And that gives us a total volume of 0 0.023 cubic meters in one square meter of a half brick wall. Now for this project, we would then say 405 square meters multiplied by 0 0.023 cubic meters of mortar. And that gives us a total volume of 9.28 
cubic meters right now with this volume we can then work out the pockets of cement required and the total volume of sand that is required for this project to do that we will say 1 divided by 6 which is the mix ratio multiplied by 1.33 which takes into account the shrinkage factor and then we also multiply that by 30.3 bags and then multiply that by the volume of this project and that gives us 62 pockets of cement we're going to do the same thing for our sand so we will say 5 divided by 6 multiplied by 1.33 multiplied by 9.28 and that gives us a total of 10 cubic meters. The other way in which you could have done this, obviously, is to say, okay, if one cubic meter of mortar is equal to 6.72 bags of cement, right, of cement, 9.28 cubic meters of mortar is equal to X bags of cement. When you cross multiply, you would then have 6.72 bags multiplied by 9.28 divided by 1 and that would give you 62.36 bags of cement for this project. Obviously there's a rounding off issue there but it would give you the same answer basically. Same thing with the sand. If you wanted to do it with the sand it would be the same thing. So you would say for sand 1 cubic meter of mortar is equal to 1.11 cubic meters of, of sand. Right? And then we'd say 9.28 cubic meters of mortar is equal to x cubic meters of sand. You cross multiply there, then you would have 9.28 multiplied by 1.11 and it gives you 10.3 um, cubic meters of sand. That is another way you could have done it. All right. Now moving on to the one brick wall. Let's go to the tab. We said in one square meter of a one brick wall, 110, right? To get the total number of bricks for this project, we would then say 2,145 multiplied by 110 bricks, and it gives us 235,000 bricks. Now, moving on to the mortar component, we go to the one brick wall, and we said one square meter of a one brick wall has 0 0.0456 cubic meters of um, mortar right we need to take into account the waste factor of 30 percent so we multiply that by 1.3 gives us a total volume of 0 0.0592 cubic meters of mortar right now to get the total volume of mortar for this project we would then say 2145 multiplied by the mortar which gives us 127.05 cubic meters of mortar for this project. So now we need to determine the pockets of cement and the volume of sand. And we're going to do it the same way that we did um, for the half brick wall. We are going to say 1 over 6 multiplied by 1.33 multiplied by 30.3 multiplied by the volume of mortar. And it gives us 850. 853 pockets of cement and then for the sand we do the same thing 5 over 6 multiplied by 1.33 multiplied by the total volume of mortar and that gives us 141 cubic meters of sand all right so that is that covers um, the materials required for the half brick wall and the one brick wall now moving on to the materials that are required for our plaster the total volume of plaster that is required in one square meter of wall is one times one times 0 0.02 for the thickness of the plaster and then we said we're going to add 20 percent to account for wastage right we multiply that by 1.2 and then it gives us 0 0.02. Now to get the total volume of plus that acquired in one square meter, we say 1,200 multiplied by that which gives us 28.8 cubic meters of plaster that we need for this project. All right now similar to how we did uh, for the one brick wall and the half brick wall, we are going to say 1 over 6 
multiplied by 1.33 multiplied by 30.3 multiplied by the total volume plaster and it gives us 193.4 bags of cement that are required and then for the sand component we do the same thing 5 over 6 multiplied by 1.33 multiplied by the total volume of plaster that is required and that gives us 31.9 cubic meters of sand for this project and just like that we are done with this exercise i hope that you found it helpful and yeah thank you so much for watching